this is Micah. I'm the lead designer on Dragonfront, and uh, we're in our closed beta period right now, and we're starting to notice that there might be some communication issues with our mana generation system. So um, if you were to look at other modern CCGs, you gain one incremental mana at the start of your turn. Um, in Dragonfront, you gain one mana plus one mana for each unit that's in your spawn row. Um, when you have a unit generating mana in your spawn row, you'll see a blue highlight under the unit. That indicates that he's generating mana. So if all your, your if your whole mana row is filled, um, you should be generating five mana at the start of your turn. Um, what we're seeing is a lot of people will put a unit down and move them forward. Um, that's great for being an aggressive player and uh, probably doing some damage to the your opponent's face early game, but um, that penalizes you in your next turn is you're not going to be generating mana from that unit. So this design this design encourages you to keep your units back until you're comfortable with your mana growth. At that point you can start sending your units out of your mana row. So if you're one mana away from being able to deploy a pretty good card on the board, um, you could discard a card once per turn for one mana. This technique is, is great, I think, if you if you can get this uh, larger unit out, but at the same time, you have to keep in mind that Dragonfront really does focus on having the card options. Card draw is great in the game, and giving up a card in your hand for one mana might not be worth it in the long run. Another way of generating mana is through the mana fragments. Um, if you examine any of the units in the game and look at the panel in the upper right corner, you'll see a number of little blue skulls there. Those are the mana fragments. When that unit dies, you get that much mana back. Um, so sometimes, based on your turn ordering, you could actually sacrifice a unit for the mana on the card to uh, bring out bigger units on, on that turn. So I'm just gonna go through the factions really quickly um, to kind of give you a sense of how they all generate mana. Thorns is probably the best uh, faction for generating mana. They have spells, forts, and units that all generate mana. Um, Scales probably has the best fortification for mana generation uh, with the command headquarters. Generates two mana a turn. Strife requires finesse as they have units that can spawn outside of their spawn row. Uh, this is great for an aggressive tactic, but at the same time on your, on your next turn you're not going to be generating any mana from that unit. So um, if you're going to be playing a lot of cards with breach, you're going to want other, other options for generating mana. I think Eclipse probably wins the battle as when it comes to generating mana only because they, they're a swarm deck. Uh, they have a lot of really cheap units. You can fill your mana row pretty quickly, usually within the first couple turns. And after that, you could be sending them forward as you generate more and more smaller units. Eclipse also has the Soul Foundry, which uh, if you have a unit stationed on there, it, the, the cost of taking a damage to your stronghold, you can get two mana at the end of the turn. Eclipse also has a trait called Blight, and any unit that's hit by this trait uh, loses its mana fragments, which means that when it dies, it's not going to be generating any mana for your opponent. There's a few great unaligned cards uh, that you can use for any of the factions. Um, Ice Leech is a great card. Uh, you actually get one mana for every enemy unit in their spawn row. Um, Spoils of War gives you two mana for every unit that you have in enemy territory. And the Battlefield Surveyors are just hands down probably one of the best mana generating units in the game. Uh, at 1-1, one, one, uh, they generate one mana at the end of the turn if the unit didn't take an action. Lastly, if you ever run into the fortunate case of having too much mana, bank it on your champion. Champions change the course of the game when they come out, and um, having them come out early is often a benefit to the player. If you feel like at the start of your next turn you're going to have more than 10 mana, bank that mana on your champion. So if you guys are playing and you have any questions about the mana system, hit us up on social media. Uh, we'd be happy to, to communicate this further, uh, discuss cards, discuss combos. Well, I hope that cleared up any misconceptions you guys had on our mana system. Um, and hopefully I'll see you out there. Dragonfront.